EXPO is at the forefront of pioneering the new standards-based test methodology, revolutionizing carrier Ethernet and mobile backhaul services field deployments. This new methodology, completely adapted to today's reality, enables network operators to optimize the quality of service and reduce operational costs. Ethernet networks need to support new and more advanced services that come with next-generation network technologies. Ethernet-based services, such as mobile backhaul, business and wholesale services, need to carry a variety of applications, namely voice, video, email, online trading, and others. And due to the distinct nature of these services, each one reacts differently to network characteristics such as latency, packet jitter, and frame loss. To ensure a consistent quality of service, service providers must understand how each service is affected by network characteristics. Only this way can they properly configure their networks. RFC 2544 has been the most widely used standardized methodology for Ethernet service testing. However, it is no longer adequate to fully validate service level agreements. The RFC 2544 limitations can be underscored by its time-consuming procedure and its lack of critical measurements, specifically packet jitter, out-of-sequence frames, quality of service measurement, and multiple concurrent service levels. To resolve these issues, the ITU has recently introduced a new test standard, the ITU-T Y.156 SAM methodology. And today, EXPO is the first to implement EtherSAM, the Ethernet service testing methodology based on this new standard, across its Ethernet testing portfolio. Aligned with the requirements of today's Ethernet services, the EtherSAM test methodology enables complete validation of all SLA parameters in a single test to ensure optimized quality of service. Contrary to other methodologies, EtherSAM supports new multi-service offerings. It can simulate all types of services that will run on the network and simultaneously qualify all key SLA parameters for each of these services. Moreover, it validates the quality of service mechanisms provisioned in the network to prioritize the different service types, resulting in more accurate validation and much faster deployment and troubleshooting. EtherSAM is comprised of two phases, the Network Configuration Test and the Service Test. The Network Configuration Test consists in sequentially testing each service. It validates that the service is properly provisioned and that all specific key performance indicators or service level agreement parameters are met. For each service, a RAM test is used to gradually reach and exceed the Committed Information Rate, or CIR. Measured key performance indicators include throughput, frame loss, latency and packet jitter. A threshold is applied against all key performance indicators to obtain a clear pass-fail result for service level agreement conformance. One minute per service, that's all you need to perform the network configuration test. Once the configuration of each individual service is validated, the service test simultaneously validates the quality of all the services over time. In this phase, all services are generated at once at their CIR, and all key performance indicators are measured for each service. This can take only a few minutes, or it can easily be transitioned to longer-term testing, such as 24 hours. Expo's EtherSAM approach proves even more powerful as it executes the complete ITUT Y.156 SAM test with bi-directional measurements. Key service level agreement parameters are measured independently in each test direction, thus providing 100% first-time right service activation. That is, the highest level of confidence in service testing. The benefits of EXPO's new standards-based EtherSAM are measurable. It allows for complete SLA validation with a single test, eight times faster deployment, and 100% first-time right service activation, enabling network operators to optimize the quality of service and reduce operational costs. EtherSAM, 
the new standard in Ethernet service testing.